Stop number four on the Big East Hoops preseason tour takes us to Omaha, Nebraska, the home of the Creighton Blue Jays. John Fanta checking in with what you need to know about Greg McDermott's team. McDermott enters year 14 at the helm, 300 wins in his time at Creighton, and he's got a whole lot more wins coming this year because his top three scorers are back from last season. I'm talking about Trey Alexander, Baylor Shireman, and the two-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year, Ryan Kalkbrenner. Creighton had previously been known for overly efficient offense, but folks, the last two years, they've been top 25 defensively. That's because Kalkbrenner is elite. It allows your perimeter defenders to take a gamble here or there, force a turnover, make things happen, and you're not going to give up much easy inside. On the offensive end of the floor, Creighton lost Ryan Nemhart to Gonzaga. They lost Arthur Kaluma to Kansas State. So how do you compensate for that? You bring in a 23-year-old point guard, and he's my takeaway of the day, Stephen Ashworth from Utah State. Ashworth it's like he's been playing at Creighton for five years. He, Shireman, and Alexander are going to fit like a glove in the backcourt. Alexander's a future NBA player. Shireman is one of the best knockdown shooters in college basketball. Alexander defends well as well. And Ashworth is going to be able to run this offense to a T. He's composed. He's collected. Kalkbrenner at the five. The key for Creighton, what happens at power forward? Between Isaac Trout, the Virginia transfer, and then look out for Mason Miller. Greg McDermott telling me today that Miller, who's in his third year with the program, has been able to make the most strides and is that front runner at the four slot, but there's still time in this preseason. Creighton is loaded, they're top 10 good, and they can absolutely hoist Big East championship trophies, if not a trophy in Arizona, come April.